out of our comfort zone and I love that everybody is here to improve and learn, see what they can add to their classroom. Thank you for joining us from all sorts of different schools. Um, I am, I do want to make a little shout out to Heather Shress who just walked away, but this is my mentor and she actually taught me everything I know that I'm going to teach you guys today and then hopefully the chain can just keep on going and we can just um, help teachers all around us. We're going to talk about Lumio, which is an amazing program that you can include in your lessons. It's a really easy transition into what you're already doing. So um, I, I took a poll um, and a lot of you participated in that poll um, where I asked what kind of uh, resources do you use for presentations in your class, like your mini lesson? And I didn't get a lot of responses about Lumio, but um, some people wanted to learn more about it. So we're going to kind of go through an example of how it can look in a mini lesson, and then you're going to get an opportunity to practice or um, actually create one that you can implement in your classroom. So let me get up the presentation. In the chat, I put a link to the Lumio lesson that I'm presenting to you, but the link is to the student side. So you're you're the student today. And um, if you want to just click on that link, it will take you to the student side of this presentation. So go ahead and find the chat. Click on that link. And before um, we started today, in your email, the invitation, there was the syllabus and the website to reference um, all the information that we are going over today. And then I'll go over that at the end as well so you understand the resources you have to take with you after this presentation. It is recorded, so that is one of the resources that will be available afterwards. All right, so if you're looking at the Lumio, um, okay, it was easy to log in, good. With Clever, is everybody logged in? Or anybody having trouble with that? Great. Okay, let's let's get into the Lumio. We love the Lumio. On the left, click the gear icon. And reset the activity. And then start it. <gasps> there are all my friends. Thanks, guys. Great participation. There you go. There you go. So the question is. What presentation tools do you use in your mini lessons? We have a lot of PowerPoint. We have a lot of Google Slides. And that's great news because Lumio is very compatible with those two. So I want your life to be easy. I want my life to be easy. I'm a teacher and so I'm going to teach you how Lumio was easy for me to transition into from PowerPoint. Um, <clears throat> we're going to move on to the next. So here's our goal for today. If we go to slide five, our learning objective after you have gone through this professional learning course, you will be able to fit the workshop model into fit Lumio into your workshop model and use it in your mini lesson. So you'll be able to create a Lumio presentation and within that you'll be able to upload resources you already have and you'll be able to um, add these interactive tools that you can use with our one-to-one -one technology that we now have in each classroom. And at the same time, today, you are hitting standards uh, for your professional growth. You're, um, you're 
working on your um, on learning, new material, the latest and greatest, and then you're also um, <clears throat> learning how to design interactive activities for your students to help meet their needs. All right, so then here, just like any normal mini lesson, now after we got through the hook and the um, goals, we're going to go and I'm going to show you um, what Lumio is all about. You've all been exposed to Lumio before because Cobb County um, has a subscription, but uh, so this is not like your basics class. This is kind of like, okay, next level. Let's put it into action. So if everybody will exit out uh, of, or not exit, just go back to Teams so that you can see my page. So come on back to Teams because I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of Lumio. All right, so here we are in Lumio. This is the presentation still. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes, this part of it where you create your presentation. Now there are so many tools here. You see there's lots of buttons, but the ones that I'm going to focus on are the ones that make your life easier and is a smooth transition to what you're already doing. So for example, where's my pen? Right here we have, sorry, it's not clicking. Right here we have upload, um, you can import re resources so you can import your PowerPoints that you have been using for years and just kind of tweak them. Here you can upload YouTube with no ads, you know, those videos that you always show. And then down here we have um, the new resources that you can use um, that Lumio created. So. This is activate prior knowledge. Would anybody tell me what part of the workshop model of the mini lesson would you use activate prior knowledge? Which part of that mini lesson would you use it in? At the very start to see what they know. So good. Yay. Yes, like a hook, an activator. Yes, exactly. So boom, just pop that in. Um, questioning and reflection. What about that? Where do you think that would go in a mini lesson? How could we use that in our mini lesson? Maybe reflection. That's going to be at the end of our mini lesson to see what they've walked away with. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You are doing great, guys. And then what about manipulatives? Manipulatives. Really any time, right? If we could use Absolutely. them to engage students, we could use them to build knowledge, ask what they know. Yes, absolutely. Um, I would say I just labeled that as like the the I do or the or the we do part of the mini lesson. You're showing them the skill. <clears throat> Sorry. And then the graphic organizer. So there's like all sorts of stuff in there, like Venn diagrams, um, KWL charts, already just ready to go, you just pop it in. Um, so where could that go into a mini lesson? I think it might could be like Sarah said before, it could be in multiple different spots. Um, but it is a really good resource for that I do as well, or the activating the knowledge. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to exit out of here. So when we're done, 
you're going to have a little bit of time at the end to make your own presentation. So I'm going to show you. Um, <clears throat> let's do. This. Actually, we'll start all the way over. New. No. Here we are. I like for math. I teach math. I go into my computer and I can just upload a PowerPoint from last year. And it will take a while to import, but I have already made a PowerPoint on that topic. Put it in there and then I just tweak it and add those fun activities. I'm not going to let it import because it will take a hot minute. But we'll go into this one. This is exactly what I did here. So you can add. Let me show you an example of adding. Manipulatives. We can add coins. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And then we can add graphic organizer like we have so 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 many options here a little venn diagram oh that'll help with my special needs students that have ieps and i need to give them those uh graphic organizers cool i didn't know that so on it yes and then we have let's see what we got here <clears throat> this is kind of what you guys did before where you had a response. You could add in like a true or false, like hook. Um, and then maybe at the end for a reflection, you can do, you know, the two, three, one count. Three facts, two questions, one big idea, all sorts of different sheets like that. So that's where you can go and find that. I'm going to go back to our lesson. On. Hey. Hey, I'm coming. All right. So here's some examples of the manipulatives. So now that you've seen it, it's time to up for us to participate in the fun of Lumio. I um, added in my favorite Lumio activity, a monster quiz. So hopefully you guys know about the water cycle because that's what we're going to be doing our game on. So I'm going to put you guys in teams. And go ahead. Maybe next week's PowerPoint. Um, upload some resources you already have. If you have a PowerPoint you used in the past and each year you just tweak it, or you can start all over, whatever you want to do. But I want you to play around with adding those interactive tools that those kids can use with that one on one technology that will help with um, the mini lesson. So, <clears throat> remember we are, I can write on my little graphic organizer here. Your goal is to, you're going to go into Lumio. I'll put in the link. You're going to go into the teacher side. You're going to create a new, new, um, presentation then you're going to upload resources then you're going to add activities and then we'll check back in i'm only gonna you know 
give you about five minutes and then afterwards we can talk or you can explore it on your own or we can have a session together if you want to explore it together. But this is just kind of like dip your toe in the water a little bit. So if let me go to the chat. And you're. That's what I'm trying to do. It just mine just finished uploading one of my PowerPoints. Oh, very cool. That's great. I'm glad it worked. I could probably, I guess, just insert pages, right? Where I want to add activities or something. Yep. Then you just do that blue plus at the okay. bottom left, and you can add those activities along in oh, with what you already have. Yeah. So that way you don't have to totally recreate one. You can take one that's already made that you want to add interactive activities to and you can insert them, I guess. See, that's what sold me on Lumia. I was like, I don't want to start all over. And Heather was like, you don't have to. You can just advance what you have. Yeah. That's cool. So if you guys want to come back to uh, Teams, well, just wrap things up here. I want to respect your time. I know it's after school on Thursday. We're wrapping up the week. We'll just close up really quick. Um, just as a reminder, our goal today was by the end of this lesson, um, you would be able to fit, uh, construct a Lumio lesson fitting the workshop model. You would be able to create a presentation, upload resources, and add in activities. So I'm going to ask um, if you would fill this out. If um, it's a worksheet and it's asking you three things that you learned and then maybe a question. So that means you're going to go back onto your Lumio tab. And if you had exited out, that's a OK. You just um, put in that code again. It will take you right to this page where we're at in the presentation. Then you just write down your response. Just so I know, you know, if this was helpful or not. Kind of what you could get out of it. And then if you have any questions, I want to be able to know that as well. And I'd love to be able to answer those questions for you. And as you can see, you know, I'm demonstrating what you could do in your classroom. This is a great exit ticket to know, OK, this is what they know. This is what they don't know. This is what they got out of it. Um, I just wanted to end um, if there are any questions that you wrote down i will email you and see if you want to talk further but if there's any quick questions you guys want to ask now this is an opportunity you can i just wanted to be respectful of others time um and email responses to those other more lengthy questions any questions right now OK, and then this is the QR code to the website. So um, in your email that you got with the invitation to this Teams link, you were given the website as well as the syllabus. But in the website, um, there is the syllabus. There is the presentation and the video will go in there as well. There is extra resources on Lumio. So videos, the website, an article on how you can use it in your classroom. And my contact information if you um, want to talk further about it. So one last, 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 last thing. If you would just let me know with this survey, um, 
how you feel about the uh, professional development. If it was helpful for you or not, please be honest because um, that's what's most helpful. So either you enjoyed the PD, you're ready to do it, you're excited about Lumio, but you just need a little bit more support or um, you are just going to stick with what you got because this wasn't really that helpful for you, which is totally OK as well. Thank you guys for filling that out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's it. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you for um, wanting to learn more about what you can do in your classroom. So I really appreciate you guys being here and please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate you. Thanks. All right.